Hey, welcome back to another RC Wars video. Today we're going to be showing you how to test a capacitor, so let's get to it. Alright, so like I said, today we're going to be showing you how to test a capacitor. Capacitors are definitely a way of life in the pump world. A lot of pumps and equipment that you're dealing with are going to have capacitors. So knowing how to test them is definitely going to save you time and money when it comes to troubleshooting your system. So when it comes to testing a capacitor, they're very actually easy to test if you have the right equipment. Uh, today we're using a Fluke 12 meter to test these. Um, it's important that you have a meter that is capable of testing microfarads. Um, it also uses a little symbol that kind of looks like a backwards Y slash U and then an F. Um, I'm sure there's a name for that symbol, but I didn't bother to look up what that is. Anyways, um, I call it like UF or microfarads, but on your capacitors, uh, they're all going to have the microfarad rating listed. So on this one, um, it says 59 to 71 MFD, uh, and in some cases, it's going to do that little UF symbol. So this one here is 270 to 324 UF, um, both referring to the microfarads. Now, you want to use like a screwdriver preferably something that's insulated so you don't get bit. Uh, to just discharge your capacitors, you just touch the metal terminals and then that's gonna drain any remaining charge. Um, and that's more just to protect your meter because uh, you don't wanna damage, obviously, a meter. Um, so we'll just discharge both of these. Um, and this resistor here is just a, a form of bleeder type resistor. So on these larger capacitors, that's pretty common. It just allows the capacitor to gradually bleed out its charge uh, over time so it just doesn't sit there stored up with a large charge but you won't typically see that very often on smaller capacitors or at least I haven't I haven't run across it very often um, so when it comes to testing of course we got to get this set up to the microfarad setting so we are at that setting um, and this first one like we said 59 to 71 it's pretty simple we're just gonna touch the terminals wait a few seconds and it's going to give us a readout. Now, the longer we hold this here, probably the more the numbers are going to start to dance around. And that's going to be even more true with this larger capacitor. So generally, you just want to look at the first number that pops up on the screen and then maybe do the test again and see if that first number that pops up is um, the same or not. And then just go with that number because, like, the, like I said, capacitors can get a little wonky. So kind of the first numbers that we saw right around 61 and a half, 62. And when we've got um, 59 to 71, that tells us this capacitor has enough capacitance. It's in range, we're good to go. That one would have no problem. So let's check out this one here uh, real quickly. And this one you're gonna see is gonna climb quite a bit more rapidly. It's about 306 and I'll just hold it here so you can see um, 445, 459. And of course I put that other capacitor kind of in the way. So hopefully you guys can see all right. 550 something anyways it just keeps climbing which is way past what the capacitance is rated for um, now one thing you could do if you didn't want that to interfere is you could clip that off potentially um, just one side and then re-solder it back on if you wanted to be absolutely sure um, you can also test capacitors using ohms um, there is a way to look at the capacitance testing ohms but it is a very rough unrefined inaccurate form of testing capacitors um, and it is included in the Franklin Electric AIM manual so if anybody wants me to show that method uh, in the future it's not real reliable so I'm not going to focus on it today because ideally you want to use a meter that can test for microfarads but we can walk you through the steps if you're curious on that sometime down the road um, so we showed you how to quickly test a capacitor no reason to sit here and lock up much more of your time so don't forget to like and subscribe for more great content we appreciate your uh, subscription subscription and participating in the comments. Um, those definitely give us some great ideas for videos. So um, without further ado, thanks for joining us today and we'll catch you next time.